What's up, YouTubers? This is Mega Omega doing part three of 400 days. Now we are starting um, the next story, and I think it should be Shell. And then after Shell, I might do Bonnie, and then What, and then. The last guy whose name I don't know. Wait. <gasps> Wait. Is that who I think it is? Two hundred thirty six. This is getting pretty good, mm -hmm. huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you're gonna have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. Man. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times. And she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen. Thanks, Stephanie. Oh, <gasps> there's two people. Thanks. Wait. I sure that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You yep. want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Um. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush on the flashlights. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. The watchdogs. Man, guys, I saw, um, uh, remember those invalids or what they were? Like the cancer group. I just saw two people from the cancer group sitting like next to the table. Those are their watchdogs. It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best. It's really not. It's better than the alternative. I'd rather she have a shorter, happy experience in this world than one full of fear and death and horror. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that, Woody? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. What's that? Oh, shit. Hell no, bitch. Excuse me, what you eating there? I need to see what you eating. What the fuck you eating? What the fuck?
Is that Poppy? Oh God. That sounds wrong. That sounds wrong. I'm sorry, it's, it's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a, puppy. a puppy. Guys, I'm ending yeah. the video here. See you soon. Bro, high five. Guys, I'm continuing the last bit what we were doing. Let's continue. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was, it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... Well, now it's gone. Yep. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, you can put him out there instead. Is you bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't <laughs> believe he just snuck here. Second break in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. They got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. We all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. Send him on his what way. There are more of them. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. He, he can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. Are you judging him based on race? Of course not. But come on. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. And the last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not Vernon's dead. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ. Are you serious? Roman's right. It's got to be one or the other. We're... Guys, I'm editing the video here. Bro, high five.